Good morning, everyone. My name's Kim Carlisle, and we have a shop full of Heise glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana, and our shop is open at this time by appointment only. This morning's video is gonna be new items added to the shop. Every month, we go out shopping, looking for glass, bring it back, and before we put it in the shop, we're actually gonna give you an opportunity to buy those best pieces that we find during the month. So if you're ready, I'm gonna give you our email address. Again, my name's Kim Carlisle. Email is the letter K-C-A-R-L-I-S-L -S -S at A-T-T dot N-E-T. If you want our phone number, send us an email. We'll send you our phone number and you can start texting us. Give you a quick little preview of our shop. We have 18 cases and nine tables in our shop. And it is just chucks full of high-easy glassware right now for the season coming up for Christmas. So if you're in the area, you can always stop by. Just give us a call or a text. And we'll set up an appointment for you. So if you're ready, we're going to back right out of this room and we're going to have the video this morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our new additions to the shop. These are items that we've bought within the last month, and you're going to have first opportunity to buy these before we actually put them in the shop. Also want to promote the show that I'm going to be doing this June. Uh, it's in Newark, Ohio, and what you see on the table this morning is just a sampling of what's going to be at that show. We've already got 27 boxes packed for the show, and all those boxes contain the quality of items like you're seeing here today. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the show. It's going to be Friday, June 16th from 1 to 7. Saturday, June 17th from 10 to 2. It's going to be the GMP Union Hall on Hudson Avenue in Newark, Ohio, and admission is free. So we hope to see you all there. And also, while I'm thinking about it, if you would, when you watch our video, please give us a thumbs up. That helps us with uh, Google. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, and you'll get notifications when we're going to put a video on. So we'll give you a quick little preview of what we have this morning. Have some nice-looking pieces this morning. We had a good time shopping this last month. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. If you don't have our phone number, all you have to do is send us an email, and we will send you our phone number, and you can start texting. So we're going to get started right back here in the corner. Very first item we have, we have a Greek Key two-quart candy jar and cover, and that is the original lid on it, and the price of it is $350. I have a Creel Sahara Bowl crystal stem and foot water goblet. We have five of these available and the price on them is $100 a piece. You can take one or all five. Elephant handle beer mug in amber or sultana marked on the bottom. It's $575. Good condition all the way around. Fruited Rose Bowl. They made these in three patterns. They made them in pillows, sunburst, and Prince of Wales plumes. Here is a sunburst and it's $135. Here's a piece of Prince of Wales plumes. It's a tankard. I looked it all over and I cannot even find the, even a very minor little spot on this. Perfectly good shape. And the price on it's $125. Here's a ketchup bottle, Old Sandwich Sahara. That is the original stopper. They always come with crystal stoppers in them. And it's We have two Carcassonne. I believe these are footed bars. Could be wines. Anyway, they're $65 a piece. I'll tell you how tall they are in case you have some. They're approximately three inches tall. We have two, mo two of them available. Next, we have a Carter Inkwell. It's number 10 Inkwell. Original top, and it's $465. Pineapple and fan, footed jelly. Very difficult piece to find. $75, could not find anything wrong with it at all. Alexandrite, dolphin footed, floral bowl. Has a little bit of wear to the inside. Show it in here so you can see the color. Has good Alexandrite color. And the price on it is $275. Whirlpool, three handled mayonnaise bowl in limelight or zircon. Whatever color you want to call it, it's $135. Here we have a tobacco jar, $150. Has a ground top. If you look, it has a little hole in there. That's so you can pour water on the inside of it, turned upside down, and the water's trapped inside the lid, and that keeps the tobacco fresh. Moongleam duck ashtray. The little place back here is so you put a book of 
uh, matches in it. The place above the head is for your cigarette. This thing is in mint condition. One of the best ones I've ever seen, marked on the bottom, $135. Here's a very common piece, but I've never seen it in Sahara before. It's a mayonnaise ladle, and yeah, of course it has to be marked, marked right there on the back. Like I say, I've never seen one before. I thought this was Cambridge when I got it. It was actually in a high Z mayonnaise, and it was it's $65. Pineapple and fan, toothpick holder, excellent gold, no damage on this whatsoever, very good green color. It is not a souvenir, it's $65. Pineapple and fan, 10 inch vase. The 12 inch is the tallest. Here's the next one, harder to find, is the 10. They go all the way down to about either six and a half or seven inches, $110. Seahorse, amber, cocktail glass. If you look closely, you see it has ram's horn optic going around the bowl, marked right at the top of the head. Nice honey amber color, $4.75. 10 and a half inch empress square plates. These are in excellent condition. No, no utensil marks on them at all, and they're $85 a piece. We have six available. Pair of dolphin-footed, three-toed candle holders in Sahara, $135 for the pair. Usually one of them is marked on the back of one of the feet. Corninor, Zircon, Ashtray, does have the high Z mark, $65. Here's a standing pony. What's unusual about this, it has a ruby stained base, ruby ears, ruby mane, I think the nostrils have a little bit of ruby in it and a ruby tail. It does fluoresce yellow under the black light. Who did the decoration? I don't know. $65. Have a pair of Liberty candle holders. They made these in two sizes. This is a small size. They did make another six inch size. Marigold does have some crazing to it, but marigold has been a hot color ever since the pandemic hit three years ago. $195 for the pair. This is called a 1210 six ounce, six inch relish dish. It's in marigold, no diamond optic to it. Nice little piece, very good color, $55. Number 500, Octagon, frozen dessert, marigold again. Good condition on this one, $55. And the last piece of marigold is gonna be a yeoman. It's gonna be a celery dish or a pickle dish. And it's approximately 10 inches long. And it's $35, has a diamond optic, slight crazy. Have a Puritan cigarette box and cover. See the lid on it? Has a flying duck going out of the cattails into the pond. Other ducks going up that way. And this one's actually signed by the cutter, Bach. B-A-C-H. I've seen other pieces of Heisey before with that signature on it. It's $75. Old Queen Anne, little plate for a tumbler. Get it turned around the right direction here. And it measures about five and a half inches. I have another piece of old Queen Anne. This is actually a 14 inch fruit bowl. I looked it over with the fine tooth comb, the shields and everything's in great shape. A little bit of wear on the bottom, which is expected for this tray. It has a nice ground bottom on, $165. Octagon, two handle nut in Hawthorne. Good color in this. Sometimes Hawthorne's a little bit muddy. $30. Whirlpool, little nappy in Zircon. This is the color of Zircon everyone's always looking for. Nice little blue. Most of the time, it looks like this. I don't know if you can see the color difference or not. Most of the time, it's on the green side. This is Zircon on the blue side. This is what a lot of people like. And it's $55. Does not have a ground bottom on it. Phyllis, creamer and sugar in Vaseline, has the white optic to it. Both the creamer and the sugar do have some wear on the outside of them. And they're $375 for the pair. Here's another good color. Zircon Ridgely cylinder vase. No damage on it, $375. I won't pick the next set up, but you can look at it. It's a pinwheel and fan the large master bowl, 
and six little nappies. The master bowl does have wear, has wear on top of the teeth where this thing's been turned inside, upside down, and there's wear in the bottom where they've set another bowl in it. Anyway, all these pieces together, all seven pieces is $2,000. Old sandwich, basket, made out of the iced tea. Nice little handle on it. This is not a whimsy. This is an actual production item. Very difficult to find though, $375. Gascony decanter, Sahara, crystal stopper, crystal foot. That is the way this combination is, always crystal stopper, crystal foot. I might warn you that stopper has been reproduced in cobalt blue, but the stopper is much, much bigger than the normal stopper. It wasn't made out of the original Heise mold. It was just made out of a cast of it. But anyway, you shouldn't be any problem in uh, seeing that sometime. It's $275, clean on the inside. Have a Gascony footed wine glass, tangerine bowl, crystal foot. It's $165. I'll give you the height in case you're trying to mask this up. Always have that turned the wrong way, of course. It's almost three inches tall. Next, we have a wonderful piece here. Old sandwich, water pitcher, and moon gleam. Excellent condition. $225. Another piece, an old sandwich, the Flamingo Ketchup Bottle. They made the ketchup bottle in Moon Gleam, Flamingo, and Sahara. Flamingo is the hardest one to find. $675, has a crystal stopper exactly the way it's supposed to be. Now we have three of these available. These are the little clips that go on the Saturn Hostess Helper set. You can stick them on the outside of the bowl, and the little toothpicks go right in them. We're selling a clip and a toothpick holder for $20. We have three of them available. Have a large elephant, mark with the diamond H, has just a little bit of a wear there on the back foot. Nice ground bottom on these animals. I'm gonna set it so you can see it. You have to make sure they stand up straight. See, face the animal towards you. If they lean, that really hurts the value of the price. This is a good one. Turns yellow under the black light, that's $265. Tumblers have been all the rage the last couple years. This tumbler's called a 112. You can find it in the Vogel book. Has this little bitty groove where it has a place in it, and this is all uh, pressed in it. And it's marked with the diamond H on the bottom. It's a 112 tumbler, very scarce tumbler. Very seldom ever see these. It's $135. Here we have a Moon Gleam tobacco jar. And it's a tobacco jar. It's made so you can turn it upside down. Pour water in there, turn it upside down. You can see this one's cloudy on the inside of it. It does have it does have a place here on the lid. Where is it at? Right there. It's got a little place right there. It's frosted, but there's a little place on the lid there. Maybe a little space on the bottom. Anyway, nice looking jar. It's three hundred seventy-five dollars. If you buy it and you want the lid uh, repaired, we can clean that lid. It's going to take about three or four months to clean it. We'll charge you fifty dollars to clean it if you do want it clean. Pair of Empress three-toed candle holders in Flamingo, $225 for the pair. Pair of Putney and Diamond Point salt and pepper shakers. Both the salt and the pepper have these sterling silver tops. They're dented up, but they are sterling silver. Clean on the inside, $75 for the pair. And then we have a Putney and Diamond Point cologne bottle. You have to take off the top. Then you get the cologne out of it. There's no holes. It's not, it's not a salt shaker. That is a sterling silver top. Original top, it's $75. Okay, now we either have a Yeoman or we have a Revere covered puff box. It's in Flamingo. There's a cutting on the lid. There's a cutting on the base. Has a nice ground bottom, star bottom. And this is the original insert that goes inside to put your powder puff on. The inserts are always crystal, no matter what color your jar is. The set's complete with the cutting, and it's $125. Now we have three mayonnaise ladles. Moon Gleam, good color, marked in the center, $25. Hawthorne, marked in the center, has a little cutting on it. For some reason, these Hawthorne ones, a lot of those have cuttings on them. Good color on this, it's $40. 
And then we have in Flamingo, nice pink color, not the orangey pink color. And it's $22.50. Then we have a seldom seed scene. It's a frog to put in one of the one of the floral bowls that Heisey made. Nice Sahara color, no problems with it at all. Hard to find peas, $65. Greek Key Hotel Ice Tub. You can soak your feet in this. Good condition, $325. A little bit of wear on the bottom, but not bad at all. Christus Decanter, Diamond Optic, Sahara, Sahara Top, and it's $275. Clean on the inside. Have a high Z Fairview Race, Diamond Optic, $225. Old Sandwich Individual Ashtray or Butter Pat, Sahara, $15. Yeoman Handled Mustard. I he didn't make a lot of handled mustards. Anyway, this one has diamond optic to it. Original lid, $65. Here's an ice cream cone holder. Some of you may remember one of these selling in an auction here lately. This one's $45. Marked in the center of the bottom. Here's a piece I haven't seen before. I've seen the bitters bottle before, but I haven't seen the bitter bottle with club drinking scene. See the two guys sitting at a table, smoking a pipe, drinking beer. Here's a waiter coming with a tray. If it was tavern, that waiter would have his hands up above his head with a hog's head on it. But this is club drinking scene. Very scarce piece, $225. Now we have one of the largest lavender jars that Heisey made. I put it in there, even though it does have a little bitty nick there on the on the corner of the stopper. It's got a bruise there on the side, and the bottom has a little nick on it someplace on the corner. Anyway, hard to find piece. It's a large size, very hard to find. Only sixty-five dollars. Then we have a footed lavender jar. The footed ones are always fun to collect. Made them in all different sizes. Good condition, sixty-five dollars. That concludes our video for the day. We hope you'll see you on Thursday for another edition of Half Price Thursday. And please hit that like button. I'd like to see how many people like these videos. Thanks a lot and goodbye.